Hey everybody, I am Kevin Ioli from Yahoo Sports and it's that time again. We're getting ready for another Canelo Alvarez fight and I heard a really good rumor, 60,000 seats already sold in uh, AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. And joining me right now is the man of the hour, Canelo Alvarez, May 8th on zone. He will fight Billy Joe Saunders uh, in a super middleweight championship fight. Canelo, how's it going, my friend? Muy bien, muy bien, gracias a Dios, entrenando otra vez aquí, este, listo para... Good, good. Thank God. Uh, training, getting ready for another one, and I can't wait to get back in the ring. Canelo, uh, I heard the other day uh, some Texas officials were saying that there's already 60,000 uh, tickets sold at AT&T Stadium. Can you confirm that? Eh, no lo sé, realmente no lo sé, pero aquí está Eddie Hearn. I don't know, Eddie. but Eddie Hearn is, is here right now. Hi, Kevin. Mr. Hearn. So uh, we're getting Eddie Hearn joining us here. Eddie, I heard from Texas that you have 60,000 tickets already sold. Is that accurate? 60, yeah, we've got we've got about another five or 6,000 to go. Um, we were thankfully allowed uh, 60, around 8,000 Barry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys. So we're going to be at full capacity come fight week. Okay. And uh, what, what will that gate be, Eddie, then in American dollars? What will that gate come out to be? I mean, um, that's for us to know okay. and for you to realize it's a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. So that was Eddie Hearn giving us a little update. Canelo, um, this is, I would say, one of the bigger fights of your career because you're trying to do something that very few, uh, if any, Mexicans ever done, win an undisputed uh, championship. Um, Billy Joe Saunders is kind of a technical guy, um, a little, little you know, awkward guy. What do you think is his strength and what is the biggest problem he presents you? Se mueve muy bien, es un peleador que sabe moverse muy bien, es un peleador rápido que sabe eh, boxear y que es difícil aparte, pero pues eh, para eso estoy entrenando, ¿no? Eh, tengo la experiencia y las capacidades. He moves really well, he knows how to move, he's fast, he knows how to box, and that's why I'm training, I have the experience to deal with that. I know it's going to be a difficult fight, especially in the first rounds, and I'm getting ready for that. You know, he, he seems, um, Canelo, to be a little different than a lot of guys you fought. I mean, you know, more defensive-minded. I mean, I think it goes back to maybe somebody like Arizlandi Lara, maybe Austin Trout, somebody like that. Um, and it, is it difficult when you're not fighting those kind of guys on a regular basis to now adjust to the way they fight? The timing is different and maybe the footwork might be different? Sí, es muy diferente. Tienes que trabajar en la pelea muy diferente, ¿no? Tienes que ser paciente. Y round con round, eh, esperando momentos, pero ir ganando los asaltos también. Y se trabaja de una manera muy diferente, ¿no? O, o uno nunca sabe, lo puedes agarrar desde el primer asalto, o hasta el 8, o hasta el 10. Es, es impredecible, pero pues eh, tengo la experiencia ya, ya no soy. Yes, it's different. You have to work the fight different. You have to be patient. You have to wait around round by round, but you also have to win them. And you can get them in the first round, or eighth round, or the tenth round. And I'm not the same fighter that I was in 2014. I have more experience, and I think that will benefit me. You know, Canelo, the one thing that I notice as you get bigger and stronger is it seems like, you know, your body punches. I mean, people can't take your body punches as much as they used to. Do you feel like, you know, you notice in the gym and that, that each day as you go by that you're adding, adding to your power? And is that something that you consciously had tried to improve? Sí, la verdad es que yo desde los 28, 29 para Acá me siento más fuerte que nunca. Yo creo que es por el gimnasio. En el gimnasio es estar entrenando, estar trabajando las técnicas de cómo golpear, de cómo golpear más fuerte. Yes, ever since eh, I was 28, 29, I've, I've felt stronger. I think it's the work in the gym and working the, on the technique of punching harder. And it's something that you learn and it comes with discipline. And, you know, I want to ask you this because it seems like, um, you know, a lot of people think sometimes it comes from the upper body. To me, it seems like, you know, you're, you know, you turn into those punches so well, and it seems like maybe your power comes from your lower body. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Sí, es, es, es todo en, en saber eh, girar bien, con en, hacerlo bien con el hombro, um, en, en el momento exacto, ¿no? Cuando, cuando contragolpeas, eh, son muchas cosas, ¿no? Obviamente se aprenden aquí. Yes, it's everything, knowing how to rotate your body with your shoulder in the exact moment, when to counter. You learn, and it's something that isn't always appreciated from the outside.
it's a lot knowing how to rotate your body and work in the precise moment. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders, uh, undefeated 30 and 0. Uh, I don't believe he's even been knocked out as an amateur. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think he has. Do you, is, is knocking him out a goal? Is that, I mean, I know you're a guy that likes to finish fights and, and uh, hear the crowd uh, cheer that. Uh, is that a goal in this bout to be able to become the first person to finish him? Siempre es un, 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 algo que se piensa, ¿no? En terminar por nocaut siempre es espectacular y para la gente también. It's something I always think about uh, for the people, for my story. Uh, I get ready for 12 rounds, but it's definitely something I think about. Sure. How much good did the Yul Dierum fight do you? You know, you, you went from Callum Smith and instead of going, you know, that six or nine months off, you know, you took that, that fight in February. Do you think that that made a, a big difference in terms of you know, going to be able to help keep you sharp because you at least had a, a camp and some ring, and ring work in that middle time there? No, no, para nada. No creo que me ayude o sea algo diferente. Siempre estoy, así me haya tomado mis meses de descanso o más para la pelea, siempre estoy listo. No, I don't think it will help. I'm always like that even when I take time off, even if I would have taken five months off, I'm always ready for the fight. All right, guys, Canelo Alvarez on uh, May 8th in uh, Arlington, Texas. Going to be a huge crowd there. Catch it on the zone. Canelo, thanks, my man. Good luck to you. Thank you, Kevin. See you, guys.